Okay. They've both been kind of starting to preen up now. And we'll keep an eye on This is two of our five fledgling Cooper Hawks. Seven o'clock in the morning. Decide to preen up in the dead tree where we can get a perfect view of them. And that's what's going on. We're down by the Neely Homestead site, in this site, Kent, Washington. And our lighting is absolutely perfect. Coming right straight in from the east. Got blue sky this morning, no breeze. And they finally went into the dead tree here where we can see every move they make. No leaves in the way. They've been practicing their calls. They've been doing the wee wee noise for quite a while. Now yesterday they put a little teet 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 on the end, so they're perfecting their call. There you go. I'm going to show us the tail now, preening up. And the other one's doing the breast feather. He did his tail earlier, so we get a good shot here. Good video. But that's an interesting tree with our two fledgling Cooper Hawks in it with a blue sky for the background. I love that. Well, they say it doesn't get any better than this. The other three, they're over on the other side, and we got a sunny tree over there, so. That's what it was yesterday. We had three hanging out together, and then when one of the adults brought in some food, four of them flew over there, and then there's one staying eating, so. That's how we got our head count of five, so. Here they are. Healthy fledglings. And they're starting to catch their own food. They can't catch birds yet, but uh, they've been catching uh, mice and rats and stuff, so. Because they're not quick enough to get away. As long as they're not poisoned, it'll be fine. So, nothing unusual about them. All birds of prey love mice and rats. And there's never a problem unless they've been poisoned, so. Hopefully they're all healthy rats running around that they get. Okay, and off they go. Must be feeding time. See, there they go. <laughs> all right, then.